Hey, welcome to Real Foot Lake State Park and another virtual program about our birds of prey. Uh, my name is David. I'm the ranger naturalist for Tennessee State Parks based here at Real Foot Lake. And today we brought out Shadow. Shadow is one of our non-releasable barred owls, B-A-R-R-E-D, barred. The barn owl, B-A-R-N, is a totally different type of owl. Shadow has now been with us for about six years. Um, here at Real Foot, we do both environmental education with birds that cannot be released because of an injury, as well as rehabilitation for birds that need a second chance to go back out into the wild. So Shadow's been with us a while and people love Shadow. Um, the barred owl is literally the teddy bear of the owl world. They get very used to people. They let you get up close. They have the big dark eyes, the rounded head, and they are the classic hoot owl. They, they're the most vocal of all the owls. And if you come here to Real Foot Lake and get out right at dark or right at sunrise, sunrise, sunset, you will hear them calling. They are very, very, very common at Real Foot. I'm gonna drive around the lake, any of the wildlife drives, any of the trails, early morning, late afternoon, there's a very, very, very good chance of seeing a barred owl. Uh, barred owls actually prefer to live around the water where our other owl species found in Tennessee typically prefer more drier areas. In fact, one of Shadow's favorite foods here at Real Foot is also one of my favorite foods, especially when I go south to the Gulf, especially to New Orleans, crawfish, crayfish, love crayfish. And when you find a crayfish, when you find a, a barred owl nest or barred owl roost, you always find a lot of remains of crayfish. They also actually catch a lot of fish. It's not uncommon late in the afternoon when I'm fishing on the lake, I will hear a barred owl and then I'll start looking and I will find it and see it. And then I've seen numerous times over the years, the barred owl come down and grab a fish out of the water, typically hand size or smaller. This bird is not near as big as you think by looking at it. A shadow only weighs about a pound. Of course, the body is covered with feathers. Feathers don't weigh very much, very lean muscles. Of course, owls have hollow bones. Birds have hollow bones as opposed to solid bones. So they don't weigh very much. Uh, they actually don't fly very fast. It's not a good idea to fly 100 miles an hour through the woods in the dark. So they kind of ghost along like a big moth or butterfly, looking and listening for their food or for danger. They actually are very good at hunting by hearing as well as by sight. Uh, they will pretty much eat anything smaller than they are, and that's true of most birds of prey. They're pretty opportunistic. There are some exceptions. There are some birds of prey that are very specific on their food, but barred owls and uh, most owls are very general. They eat anything smaller than they are they can catch. So most of Shadow's food would be things that weigh less than a pound and things that are found around water. Now they will take mice and rats and maybe a squirrel, even a half grown rabbit. So they're pretty opportunistic, especially when they have babies in the nest. You know, if you have four babies in the nest screaming for food, you're not too picky on what you take in to feed your babies. Whatever you can find goes to feed them. And uh, we are now in uh, mid, uh, mid to late April, and actually the baby barred owls are just now getting big enough to leave the nest. We have numerous nests here around the lake. I know where a few of them are, but this is what we call baby season. In the rehab world where you're rehabbing injured birds of prey, March and April and May are always when you get in babies. Uh, most of the time, they don't really fall out of the nest. Something that we see very often is what we call branching. They come out of the nest just before they're able to fly, exercise their wings, jump around, sometimes get on the ground, and their parents keep right on feeding them. They literally only need a couple of days. A uh, question we commonly get, in fact, I've had a couple in the last two weeks where people have found almost grown owls on the ground. Say so the best thing you can do is take a big basket, fill it full of le half full of leaves, and put it back in the tree near where you found it. For the owl to stay in the basket for another couple of days, the parents will keep right on feeding it. It's always much better if the parents raise the birds than if we raise the bird. Now, if there's an injury, they have an obvious wing injury or leg injury, then they need to go to the vet and need to go to a rehabber and actually get treatment. But literally, if they've just climbed out on a branch, it's always much better to let the parents feed them. Many, many people over the years have been introduced to our natural world and actually the nighttime birds of prey 
by the barred owls here at Real Foot. Uh, Shadow is a long line of education birds we've had here at Real Foot, but people always love to see, learn about, and hear the barred owls. So as we open our state parks back up from this COVID-19, come out and visit our state parks. About a third of our state parks have a bird of prey uh, environmental education program. Uh, come to Real Foot, see the birds, take a tour with us, get out on the lake, but visit your local state park. Enjoy and experience all the things we have to offer and uh, have a great day, stay safe, and hopefully we'll see you as uh, COVID-19 goes away. Thank you very much.